Hello fellow YouTubers, I'm uh, doing another video. This one's going to be a little bit longer uh, as these things run and I'm going to have to try and keep it under the uh, 10 minute limit I'm allowed by uh, YouTube. But anyway, um, so this is actually take two of my uh, my videos. Um, uh, I tried to do this one uh, once before but I forgot to empty my uh, memory card so <laughs> I had a full memory card and only got about halfway through or something like that so here's take two uh, my car uh, survival kit um, I have uh, you know as I promised in my my things to come video uh, update recently anyway um, this is my car survival kit you know as I said I have a more comprehensive kit um, uh, in my car as I was saying when I was doing my video review for my um, my little uh, everyday carry survival kit that I keep in my EDC bag that goes with me whenever I travel anywhere in the car and then whenever I leave the car it goes with me as well so it's kind of my get back to the car survival kit if I needed to anyway um, <clears throat> as you can see I have it in a uh, 5 liter Baja dry bag from Seal One on the outside of it, I have attached an easy length of, uh, you know, a para a paracord, 550 cord, uh, so that I can lash the bag down to something if I needed to. Um, it's also just, you know, easily accessible from the outside. I just have it looped through itself. And then I can pull that off. And uh, I have a length of paracord that I have. Uh, folded in half basically length to length end to end and then I've just done a series of um, just done a series of uh, slip knots and so that when I'm ready to use this I just have to pull this last the slip knot out and then oops Am I coming at it from, I'm coming at it from the wrong end, so let me just pull this last slip knot out. And then the paracord just comes undone. Boom. And uh, I have just a length, a long length of paracord. So that's on the outside of the bag. I'm not exactly sure how long that paracord is. So you have to forgive me, and I'm, you know, I also have to forgive me because this is my first time really working with a tripod. So if I make any mistakes, we'll have to deal with it. Okay. So in my five-liter dry bag, I have a number of little mini kits. I have everything set up so that I'm not just dumping a bunch of loose stuff out of the dry bag, um, and I can also pull these kits out um, and use them uh, individually. Um, which also allows me to use the uh, the dry bag to collect water or whatever. First off, I have a fire kit in a pouch, which can go on my belt. I have a Mora. I think this is a number two. that can hang from either my neck or go on the belt and it's got a number of different things on it which include a fire steel and um, a striker this is tucked under a ranger band that's right here and then also under this ranger band and taped down is a SC uh, survival uh, arrowhead and so that's tucked underneath the Ranger band, and that's right in here. So, okay. I also have, oh, let me zoom out a little bit here and give myself a little more room. I guess I'm zoomed out all the way. <laughs> Alright, okay. Um, I'll pull this off the side here. Okay, we have in here my shelter options as well, which is a 
of course. This is for, I'm not trying to hide, I'm not trying to bushcraft. This is this is just for survival purposes and for, for the purposes of um, um, my car getting stuck someplace or whatever. I'm of course going to want to be get found. So I have a blaze orange, you know, emergency orange, whatever you want to call it. Um, reusable space blanket, which is reflective on the inside, as well as uh, tucked in here uh, and folded up in there is a uh, pair of 5 mil, I think it's, a, it's either one or two of uh, 5 mil um, plastic drum liners. So there's a 55 gallon drum liners. So it's real thick and uh, useful and that's the shelter option which I can use with uh, the paracord I have there or in here and of the mini kits last but not least is the actual kind of survival kit portion which leaves me with a empty bag to uh, use for collecting water or whatever attached to my survival kit uh, is a quick release carabiner here. Well, relatively quick release because I got it all tangled up on there. The little carabiner, which is a quick deploy, I can you know undo that real quick and uh, deploy. I've got another 50 or so feet of uh, uh, blaze orange paracord here to go again with either my survival my, my shelter system or just you know for general use and survive, inside the survival kit itself actually on the outside of the survival kit here I'm going to give myself some more room we'll push this off to the side right now okay In uh, inside the survival or outside the survival kit itself, um, I have just tucked in the outside pouch since I had some space for it. Some of these rim uh, rim oil uh, wipes. I gotta make sure my steel items don't rust on me. And this is just a quick and easy way to carry them with me without having to worry about it. Uh, a bottle that's gonna spill uh, or whatever. So we also have. Um, on in the outside, eight uh, catadine purification tablets. So I have uh, eight liters, effectively, of water that I can purify. Okay. Now this is the Maxpedition Fatty Organizer. As you can see, it can hold a lot. I've really got it packed, and it can hold a lot of stuff. Let me show you what I have in here. Okay. Now, I do not have, you know, it, you know, full of brim with everything I could organize in here, but I have kind of mini kits inside of the kit. <laughs> so, um, of course, I had some spare 550 cord, so figure why not toss it in there. It's a smaller length of paracord, um, but I figure, eh, it doesn't hurt anything, I have it spare, we'll add it. I also have, well it's not chapstick, it's, uh, this is actually uh, Carmax, Carmix, however you pronounce it, uh, it's uh, cherry flavored, because, well, I like it, uh, if I'm going to have to, you know, use lip balm, uh, I want it to taste good. Uh, but it's also beeswax, so this can be used for a lot of different things. The main component is beeswax, so uh, fire starter, uh, you know, uh, coal extender. Um, uh, I could rub it on my, my knives if I have to, whatever. So um, lots of uses, but uh, yeah, beeswax. I also have another blaze orange. This is just a little cheapo emergency poncho that I got in like another survival kit, so I threw it in here. That's another shelter option. Another shelter option, I have just, you know, one of your cheapo little space blankets. I could use as a heat reflector for a fire or whatever I need to use it for. 
that you added to my cutting tools I have in this little pouch a chainsaw basically it's just, just a chainsaw blade this is one of the uh, oh this is one of the uh, saws from um, Ultimate Survival Technologies UST uh, it's their saber saw and so um, anybody who knows anything about these, this is going to go through anything um, you put in front of it. Uh, it'll cut down nearly you know, full-size trees without too much difficulty. So, uh, and uh, you know, unlike a wire saw, this isn't going to break very easy. So you're not going to break this on a uh, you know, two-inch diameter branch. So again, yeah, that's in a nice pouch, which can go onto my belt, just like the fire kit and the uh, mora or around my neck whatever okay I also have in here a platypus bottle uh, my second container option in, uh, in, including my my dry bag I have um, this platypus, platypus bottle I can collect water in the dry bag and then I can filter it uh, or do whatever I need to do through my t-shirt um, you know, to get the turbidity out and then I can put it in here with the water purification tablets uh, there's one liter so you know pre-measured one liter bottle and so um, uh, one liter uh, one tablet makes it real easy especially when I might be panicky or whatever I just remember one liter one tablet so one tablet goes in there and I can purify water uh, on the go. And also the neat thing about it is, is I can also hang this if I need to. So that's good. Or lash it to myself because it's got a nice sturdy um, little ring on there. So uh, I can really tie that tie that down if I need to. Perhaps use my short little piece of cord there for that. I also have in here um, some hot hands disposable hand um, I toss these in here because I can use them uh, to help get my core temp up. I maybe put them underneath my uh, in my armpits, I help get my uh, core temperature up. Or uh, if I'm my hands are wet and cold and I'm trying to manipulate things, I can uh, use these to warm my hands up so that I can start a fire or whatever I need to do. And uh, they're really easy to use. You basically, just have to open them and expose them to air. So. Uh, you know, quick way to get my hands warm uh, in an emergency if I'm really cold and wet. So that I can do the finer tasks like start a fire. This is just a little fishing kit. I don't think I'm going to be able to catch anything, but um, you know, this is kind of like a little fishing kit slash um, snare kit, whatever. I have some wire leaders in here which could be used as snares um, as well I have fishing line on the outside which is the braided fishing line I think it's I don't know what the test is on it but it's pretty high um, I also have in here fish hooks um, sinkers all that kind of stuff so I have a little placebo fishing kit slash um, trapping kit. I'm not going to catch anything with me, uh, with it per se, but um, it's better to have it and, and uh, you know, it's just kind of a peace of mind thing, so it's something to keep me occupied with. Maybe I can, you know, maybe I do catch something and I have some food. I mean, this is Florida, so, you know, we have bodies of water everywhere. They have fish in them, so maybe I can catch something. Quick little easy way, this is just a uh, little Fiskars uh, knife sharpener that uh, you know, has coarse and fine on it and you know, ceramic so uh, you know keep my knife edge sharp a little Petzl e-lite I'm sure everybody's seen these before it's a little headlamp and uh, this will allow me to um, uh, have hands-free light
Okay, I have here is my backup survival kit. This is like one of those little small survival kits. Um, you've probably seen these before. This is an Adventure Medical Kits survival kit. Uh, uh, this is the one that uh, is actually really comprehensive. So, you know, it's got you know the signal mirror, small knife, you know all kinds of stuff in here that's it's useful so this is my backup kit that can go again go in a pocket uh, so that if I need to I can leave that one in the bag and I have them in two different places so this is you know in case somehow I lose the big bag I still have one of these in a pocket and last but not least Tucked away back in here is a little survival sewing and repair kit. Um, again, it's just got uh, a number of little knickknacks that are useful in, in repairs. Uh, it, needles, thread, um, a little small razor knife, some you know cordage, uh, duct tape. So you know, again, in here they have I have a bunch of stuff so I can repair my clothes, my kits. Um, who knows what it's it's uh, got quite a quite a few things in here and it's in a dry uh, you know a lock sack dry bag um, but uh, yeah it just it has um, a number of items in here that are very useful so uh, we can fix just about anything so I figure I'd toss that in there as well okay now I've easily gone over my 10 minutes. I don't know if I have to do this in two parts or whatever. I'm up to 60 minute mark now, so but uh, we'll continue. I may be able to get longer time. I can't remember if it was 20 minutes or whatever, but I need to hurry up. So we'll keep it down to 20 minutes. Three minutes here. Um, in my fire kit, I have a couple of what fire tenders. I have waxed jute and fatwood. I have some cotton balls, some pre-done uh, uh, little magbar shavings stuck to some uh, sticky note, uh, and uh, some dryer lint wrapped in a dryer sheet. Cotton balls in Vaseline in a little canister. A cold steel tough light, mini tough light knife with triad lock. Very sharp little knife. Fits my hand perfectly. I can get a four finger, basically get a four finger uh, grip on it. Plenary estate and real sharp little knife for carving my fat wood, whatever. A peanut lighter, County Com peanut lighter with uh, spare fuel. A fire steel, uh, army model, real thick, heavy one. So, and again, it's in a little pouch that can go in my belt. Well, that is uh, the contents of my uh, comprehensive survival kit in my uh, car. Um, so I have, you know, uh, I kind of subscribe to Dave Canterbury's 5Cs. You know, I have uh, two containers. I have uh, multiple cutting tools. You know, I have a razor knife here. I've got a little razor knife uh, in my uh, repair kit. Well, I got a little razor knife in my repair kit. I got a little spare uh, Ritter knife on the, in the, the kit there. I have my uh, Tough Light pocket knife. So I have multiple cutting tools. Um, I have my shelter system. So I have you know, plenty of shelter options. And um, that's the contents of my kit. So, hope you like it. See you all later. Bye.